If you have recently become a family caregiver, you face a world of new responsibilities. In addition to gaining an understanding about the disease of your loved one, you will need to face new challenges on virtually every level of life. Perhaps you are caring for a spouse who completely managed paying the bills or who did all the grocery shopping. Virtually overnight, your household will function less efficiently as now you, the caregiver, must expand your role while also learning to care for your spouse. Things will be a little rough at first. Just remember that this is normal and eventually you will settle into a routine, but this takes time. The objective of this video is to offer you some tips and suggestions that will make caregiving more rewarding for both you and the person you're caring for. Let's define family caregiving. As we grow older, the more likely it is that we will need to care for a parent, spouse, or loved one with chronic illness and disabilities. It's important to view this role as a common occurrence in a person's life. You are not alone, as one in five adults are family caregivers. Providing care for a family member is an act of kindness, love, and loyalty. You will find great satisfaction in improving their quality of life, even if they're unable to express their gratitude. Caregivers can be spouses, partners, adult children, parents, other relatives, friends, or neighbors. Whatever your relationship with the person you're caring for, it's important that you add the title caregiver to the list of things you are. It's important to understand that caregivers play other roles as well. You may be employed full or part-time, raising children, a spouse, or have other family commitments. Adding caregiving to your list of roles can lead to frustration. For example, you can be sure that you will need to navigate social service systems, advocate for your care receiver, and take care of their day-to-day -day needs while you try to do all those same things for yourself and your family. Very few people have the knowledge or training to perform the broad range of tasks that are required of a caregiver. The first rule of learning to be a caregiver is knowing the importance of taking care of yourself or you will not be able to help anyone. For example, you could end up with a back strain because you have not learned how to correctly transfer someone from bed to chair or from wheelchair to car. If your care receiver suffers from Alzheimer's, you will need to learn the skills necessary to communicate with someone with this impairment. Like many family caregivers, you probably did not anticipate this situation. That's okay. You don't have to be a nursing expert to be a good family caregiver. You will discover that it's quite natural to learn how to provide effective care without sacrificing yourself in the process. Consider the following fundamental actions to create the proper mindset for reducing your stress levels and becoming an effective family caregiver. Whether you have slowly been increasing your involvement over time or whether the situation has changed overnight due to a health crisis, you will need to consider the following steps to make your transition easier. A start by learning as much as you can about your family member's illness or disability, including how to care for it. The more you know, the less anxiety you'll feel about your new role, and the more effective you will be. A reach out to other caregivers. As we said before, you are not alone. It's important to give and receive support from others who understand exactly what you're going through. Trust your instincts. Don't ignore what doctors and specialists tell you but listen to your gut because no one knows your loved one like you and your family. Always encourage your loved one to strive for independence. Caregiving does not mean doing everything for them. Read and research as much as possible to learn of technologies and strategies that allow your family member to remain as independent as possible. Be realistic about how much of your time and yourself you can give. Set clear limits and communicate those limits to family members, doctors, and other people involved. Creating routines will simplify life for you and your family member. Your priority is to make life easier for your older adult, yourself, and others who are involved. This cannot be accomplished if you don't create a consistent daily routine that helps days run more smoothly. Daily routines can reduce uncertainty for everyone and makes decision-making much easier. Once a routine is established, following it helps your loved one to be less anxious because knowing what is next makes them feel more in charge of their situation. A regular routine also helps you find more ways to take breaks and take care of yourself. Let's discuss how to develop a caregiving routine. In the simplest terms, a routine is doing the same basic activities around the same time every day. For example, part of a regular daily routine for your loved one might be to wake up at 8 a.m., use the toilet, brush teeth, bathe, and comb hair. Then, get dressed and sit down for a hot breakfast with coffee or tea. After breakfast, there will be time for physical or occupational therapy and rest if necessary. 
Lee afternoons might be reserved for audiobooks, puzzles, or simple household tasks. Developing a routine is not a natural process. It might take a little experimenting to create a daily routine that works well for both of you. Let's discover why a consistent routine is so important. Most people dislike being told what to do and when to do it, and we are sure that your loved one is no exception. When your older adult has a consistent daily or weekly routine, the activity is no longer a directive. It simply becomes what's done at that time. Whenever possible, be sure to let them give input for any decisions to be made. Once the routine becomes a natural part of their life, they'll be more likely to go with the flow and won't feel like you're forcing them to do something. A routine increases cooperation because your loved one is able to anticipate the next task or activity. Now they can mentally prepare and will be more willing to participate than when they are surprised by seemingly random activity. Even for those with dementia, their subconscious can develop a sense for the regular rhythm of the day. That helps them feel more comfortable and secure even if they aren't outwardly aware of the routine. A routine reduces the need for decision making. You will quickly learn that making decisions all day is tiring, even when the decisions are minor ones. A regular daily routine saves valuable mental energy because most of the tasks, timing, and activities have already been decided. You will personally benefit because a routine significantly reduces the number of choices you will have to make so you can spend your energy on other things. Making sleep time part of the routine will improve your sleep. Quality sleep is essential for good health and a daily routine can also help when it includes rest time. Reserve an hour or two for rest or a nap. This will most likely become a natural part of the routine because physical, occupational, or speech therapies can be tiring. Plus, having an afternoon sleep schedule helps both of you get better rest overall. You can use the time to take a break or attend to something need to do. Just as important as daily tasks, you must be sure to build in time to enjoy each other. Too often, the responsibility of caregiving makes spending quality time with your loved one less of a priority. A routine makes it easier to spend quality time together when you build it into their daily, weekly, or monthly schedules. This can be as simple as starting each morning with a hug, ending the day with a movie or music, enjoying a nice walk in the park on Sundays, or having lunch at their favorite restaurant once a month. The tips and suggestions mentioned in this video are for general information purposes only, and should not be construed as professional medical advice. If you are a caregiver, and you are concerned about caring your physical or mental health, it is also advisable that you consult with your physician to ensure that you have a clear understanding of your personal situation. If there is a health or wellness subject you would like to know more about, leave us a comment and we'll be happy to put together a video.